Decred Treasury was implemented as part of the original design with the intention of helping to fund the project long into the future. The Treasury receives 10% of the block reward. Over time, this will equate to 2,100,000 coins from the 21 million supply. Decred's core developers witnessed how destructive it can be to rely on external funding or venture capital. The three main concerns here are one, the funders tend to push the project in a direction that doesn't align with the intended goals. Two, VC funding normally has short-term goals that yield high returns initially, but compromise the project in the long term. Short-term goals rarely have a good outcome for the long-term success of a project. The compromises made during this time can destroy the overall sentiment from which a project may never recover. And then finally, once the profits have been made and extracted, the capital normally disappears, leaving the project in a chaotic state and more often than not without coherent direction or leadership. The success and longevity of a treasury can be determined by its spending habits, the ethos to its budgeting and the amount it is willing to spend to achieve a desired outcome. When a project is young and has low value, all efforts should be made to preserve the treasury and make sure it cannot be depleted. The same can also be said as the project matures. Spending for the sake of spending rarely brings outstanding results. Decred has preserved its treasury to a high standard and have been careful to allocate the coins wisely on tasks and utility that will add value to the project over time. As of writing, the coin supply for Decred is 13 million, which means the treasury has received 1,300,000, of which it has 780,000 remaining. This means that after five years of being active, it has only spent 520,000 coins, less than 40% received. The current value of the treasury is $100 million. As time goes on, spending percentages should reduce as the project becomes more valuable. If Decred continues on its current path, it's easy to see that the treasury will have enough funds to last long into the future. Cryptocurrencies that include treasuries to fund their development is becoming more common. I'm currently aware of three other projects that have been around for as long as Decred and have treasuries. I'm going to use these to compare spending habits. So the first project is Dash. Dash develops one of the first DAO treasury systems, which works very differently from all others. As I understand it, Dash doesn't hold a surplus in the treasury. Instead, a super block receives and distributes 10% of the block reward each month to developers and other contributors. Based on the current coin supply of 10 million coins and not taking into consideration um, coins that have been burnt, the Dash treasury has received over 1 million coins and holds a balance of zero. The second project is Zcash. Zcash set their system up as a founder's reward which received 10% of the reward for the first four years. This equated to approximately 1,500,000 coins. Once this reward ended, the project started a new campaign to receive additional funding for the following four years. This is now set at 20% of the mining reward and is divided between three different entities. After the first four years, the project had 420,000 coins left from the original reward. They spent over 1,080,000 coins, which is more than 70%. The third project is Nano. Nano received their full development funding at the beginning, approximately 5% of the coin supply, 7 million coins. In the first five years since the project began, they have spent approximately 6,700,000 coins, which is approximately 95% of the reward. The treasury currently has 300,000 coins remaining. Looking at these examples, it's not hard to see that Decred has implemented a sustainable and fair system for continuing the development of the project long into the future. Historically, good bookkeeping would see business owners keep track of their spending with the ambition of maintaining a surplus for future developments and improvements. This would include buying new equipment to make the work more efficient, paying for eventualities, maintenance, repairs, and adding to the workforce. By running a large enough surplus, a business would be able to navigate the worst of times and remain innovative, profitable, productive and sustainable. Up until recent history, governments would also be run with the ambition of holding a surplus in their treasuries for the future well-being of their nation. 
National treasuries would typically be held in precious metals like gold and silver, but there would also be large holdings in foreign currencies for trade and debt management. Over the last 30 years, we've seen our national treasuries diminish and in some cases fully depleted. National governments have become increasingly reliant on debt to fund the burdens of the state and to fund the ever-growing expansion of government. So here's the thought experiment. Imagine a country or a business that could not hold debt or assets, where the balance was either positive or zero, but never negative, and where its value could only be assessed by its productivity. You would of course be imagining the world of the DAO, the Digital Autonomous Organization, where Decred is well and truly leading the way. In many cases, if a treasury is implemented on an existing project, it meets a lot of resistance. This is largely due to the rules set out by the project's white paper or constitution. For people who have been invested in the constitution, this is seen as a direct violation to the project's social contract. We've witnessed this action play out with the recent Bitcoin Cash hard fork that gave birth to yet another Bitcoin offshoot, Bitcoin ABC. If a project clearly defines the rules that it intends to use from the outset, so that all participants are made aware of the coin supply and the distribution, and as long as the rules are not changed later, I see no reason why a treasury would not be a great addition. It's unlikely that a treasury will start off being completely decentralized but it should be the mission of the founders to head in that direction. All the time it's under their stewardship, every effort should be made to preserve the treasury's value. Until the point that the coin holders have an overwhelming say in how the funds can be spent, spending will and should be under greater amounts of scrutiny. All too often this has not been the case, and in many cases we've seen treasury funds depleted for the sole purpose of individual or minority gains. To date, Decred is, to my knowledge, the only treasury that is working towards complete decentralization. In April 2021, a vote was passed to effectively create a two-factor authentication process where no coins from the treasury can be spent until the DCR ticket holders have given their approval. This is just one in many steps to make the Decred treasury fully decentralized. <laughs>